It's I, Custis Gamer here, bringing you another awesome video, and today we are back in Sai's amazing world, and it is amazing out here. And I don't know what was wrong with my voice, however, I have some great news. So, I was trying to find names for the doggo, for the doggos down here, because we got that white colored one, we have a pink colored one, and a yellow colored one, or a magenta colored one, and a yellow colored one. Which, basically, I've asked my friends. I thought about naming these dogs after my friends. So, in order. And my friends were like, okay, sure, why not? So this will be, this magenta beautiful lady right here will be Ronnie. This will be Sammy. And over here, the white one would be Vince. And I know if Vince actually ever does watch this, he's going to kill me in real life, so... Hooray for the final episode. And you know what? Actually, no. I'm going to go ahead and take Ronnie with us. Oh, God. It actually sounds super weird. However, I kind of like the names. And actually, before we go over to the what we were working on last episode, let me go ahead and show you what I actually decided to do with it. That is a lot of animals over there. However, are you guys ready for this? And turn, and here it is. This is what I have decided. And I thought this would look actually pretty decently cool in the world. As you guys can see, I did base this off of something else a little bit. I tried to do something, but it apparently didn't work out too well. So we're now going to do this. And I like this design. It's pretty functional, I'd have to say. I haven't tested the top layer yet, so that is what I'm doing. And looks like the top layer has actually worked. I'm liking that. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and just start building this. All right, so see you guys then. Also, you guys, I realized that basically you guys might be wondering, okay, the sun's going down, however, you guys might be wondering why I have this diamond sword out, and you guys might have seen the enchantments on it already. However, basically why I have this out is because I have a secret blaze farm in the nether, which I've been getting experience from, which explains why I'm at level 36. And basically, this overpowered diamond sword, well, almost overpowered, just needs some smite on it, and bane of arthropods, and all that good stuff, and sharpness 5. However, this diamond sword, I have enchanted multiple diamond swords for this, and I'm getting a few frames per second. And basically, with all these big projects going on, there's some things I just want to get out of the way. And also, I spent a few hours working on this blaze farm. I stayed up till 12.30 in the morning building this blaze farm. And it was very interesting to do. And I don't think I'll ever do it again. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh, I forgot that Ronnie is right here. Oh, no. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have this right here. So we're going to have to do a little bit of terraforming. Oh, boy. Let me collect these saplings. Because... Why not? They'll be they'll come in handy later, later in the game, when we need some spruce trees at least. However, there's an entire forest right there, so I highly doubt that we'll need that many spruce trees. All right, and go. Oh boy, we are definitely getting the frames per second. Oh, oops, one too many over. And I don't know why I'm recording this. However, I think... I know I just started the recording. However, it's lunchtime. So I'm going to go eat a little bit of lunch. And then I'll be right back. As soon as I place these blocks down. Yes, they would actually let me get them. Okay. 
Got that one in, and got that one. And I will go eat lunch, and I will be right back. Hello, everybody. We are back, and basically, I said I was going to lunch last time you saw me. Yeah, it might be a little bit, like, five, six hours past lunchtime. It's literally dinner time at the moment, and, I, and, and I'm not eating dinner yet, just because I need to finish this recording. I want to get it out to you guys, but basically, while I was at lunch, I was working on this thing quite a lot, and I figured, why not... Just go ahead, and don't tell me that the sun is... Oh, it is, you cheeky little sun. And basically, you guys haven't seen the new design that I've done. I've done a little bit of revamping, and I basically... Why and how is I got stuck watching Christmas movies, which I am not complaining about, but... Damn, those are some good Christmas movies. And so basically, I've just been working on this and watching Christmas movies, and I forgot that I needed to record still. So while I go ahead and we're gonna, we won't be able to finish this at all today, just because, well, it's basically gonna take too long because we're gonna need the cactus green to grow. We're gonna need the cactus to grow. Otherwise, we won't be able to make the cactus green. And that is one block too high. Yeah. Okay, that's that's perfect, actually. And now we just jump. Oh, fantastic. And jump. And then we jump. Jump. Oh, okay. I did not realize my hunger that was that far down. To where, or my health bar was that far down. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead grab ourselves a crafting table and craft us up some stairs because why not and we are actually going to need the stairs and I forgot the exact placement of these however there I do know one placement of them and I believe that would be oh geez I cannot do it over there yet However, we just go like this. And basically, you put it around like this. And this is going to be a huge tree farm. I just realized that. And, uh, yeah, I really don't know what to say. Ooh. Okay, yeah, there's creepers spawning. Not gonna chance it. Let's just go ahead go to sleep and then I know what we're gonna do for the rest of the video once we kind of get this outline based done because once we get this outline done basically all we have to do is just fill it with some green stained glass just some regular green stained glass no lime no nothing just regular green and it will look amazing in the end. And the floor, oh man, the floor you guys will enjoy. Because I found that the floor will be interesting. It's very interesting, actually. I love it to death. And there is really nothing that I can say against it. Other than, I mean, oh... Oh, be right back. All right, guys. Sorry about that. My dad just said that it was dinner time. Oh, Jesus. All right, you guys. So hopefully we are finally back with no more interruptions. Hello, Ronnie. It's been a while. It's actually the morning of the next day. Ugh. Just no. They just no. I don't know what's going on. I'm just no. <laughs> However... Uh, I guess this is as much work as we can get done. I mean, other than the fact that we need to... do this, I believe? Yeah, we do. Alright, so then... we go over here... 
We grab this. And then we do this right here, and I'll just be right back when this gets done. Alright, that is the little side things over here put in, and now since we have six, it's actually, we can actually finally finish up this. Got two there, and then three right here. One, two, three. There we go, and we are perfectly set. Okay, so now we have to go check on the cactus. <clears throat> and hopefully, just hopefully, it's grown at least a little bit. Because if it hasn't, well then we're screwed. And it does not look like there's any of it grown. <laughs> but there are a ton of animals walking into it. So, I guess I'm going to go ahead and search around for cows, cows, cows. I'm going to search around for cows and get some leather with this awesome, beautiful sword. How much leather do we get? I'm going to say that was about two. Oh, cool. And we're also going to get some pork, because... Why not? However, I figured that, you know what, maybe we should make a cow farm very soon. Okay, typically this area is very laggy and it's still got that little, like, lag left over from the slash kill command that I had to do, unfortunately. In fact, I actually had to do it twice because that there was so many animals there that I literally had to do it twice. And actually, hold on a minute. If we're going to finish this place up, the, if we're going to finish up the nether, then why don't we just go ahead and get us a bunch of bookcases, or at least a bunch of sugar cane. So we got five bones, and then let's see, what do we not need? Let's see. Um, I guess we do not need all of the meat on us. We do not need that much steak or pork. So let's just go ahead and get over here. Some cooked beef goes into here. And some pork. And we're just gonna have our big old meat silo in the back, I guess. Oh, nope, that's charcoal. Uh, charcoal. 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 Okay. Well then, let me just go ahead and grab the bone meal. We're just gonna, you know, actually, no, no. I think this might just be enough. Fifteen. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. In fact, let me just go ahead and bone meal all this up. Because that is what we need to do. Oh, actually, the cactus is now growing. Great, I'm wasting more time for the cactus to grow. Alright, and then we go. Is there any in the water? I do not think so. Ooh, 24. That's a heavy amount that we have. However, we will get what? I'm gonna say... Mr. Chicken! <laughs> you be you be crapping out eggs already. 
man, I'm just, you know, getting good luck. Also, I figured one thing. I finally actually looked up villager trading by watching one of my favorite YouTubers. I kind of learned a few things. And that guy we had, we do not want. We do not want a cleric at all. Because, in fact, we want a farmer. A farmer, villager, not uh, just spe specifically a farmer, not a brown coat. Because if we get a farmer, then he will have a bunch of awesome trades, I believe. And so then we can actually just go ahead and trade with him and get a whole bunch of emeralds and all that good stuff. Uh-oh. That fell down. Alright, I believe that was the only one. Mr. Cow, what you doing? What you doing over there? Alright, since the cactus isn't grown to the point where I... where it's usable, I'm just gonna go ahead and head into the nether. Because... That is what what me what we must do. And actually, look at that view right there. That is going to turn out amazing in the end. That's going to look beautiful. And I'm going to get my sword ready, because basically, as always, we are over here, and the blaze farm is kind of far away. In fact, okay... When, you know, the first time I actually got looting on this sword, or looting three, I actually decided to hit a pigman, and it gave me a gold bar and a gold sword, and like two gold ing ingots. It like dropped everything that it could. Oh, Jesus. Is there another one? Nope. However, we do need to keep going down. And there we go. And I'm actually going to check if there's any wither skeletons over here, because... Yeah, why not? No, nah, not a, doesn't look like it. So then let's just go ahead and rush. Oop. Okay, I really do not like those gas. They really do freak me out. And I guess, yeah, I guess they do. However, this is our little blaze farm over here. Quite nice, quite dandy. It's a pain in the ass. Because blazes, they just suck, man. And every once in a while, that happens. And the game also might crash very soon. However, this is where I'm deciding to put the enchanting table before the game crashes on me. Let's not make, let's, please don't crash on me. I want this. I need this game. All right, so now, since we've got this going, let's just go ahead. Oh, geez, Pigman. And that's actually the good thing about this blaze farm, is every once in a while a pigman will fall down. Or a wither skeleton will fall down in that back area right over there. And it'll be just glory days. So now, let's just go ahead. Enchantment table. Right there. Alright, Mr. Pigman. You, 
he did not give us good stuff. However, um, let's see, what, what else? Blazes, could you really be any louder? So let me just go ahead and get the bookshelves out. And what does that bring us to? Level 28. And we're going to need a few more bookshelves. Oh, jeez. I thought the game was going to crash on us. That wouldn't have been good. And every once in a while, a blaze will die. <gasps> Uh-oh. Game crashed. Be right back. Okay, and we are back. And let me just say, developers, if you are watching this... Wait a minute. What? No! No! Oh my god, it just got rid of all my books! You stupid freaking blazes! You motherfuckers! It just got rid of all the books, all the paper. You sons of bitches. That's it, you know what, you all die. Give me those beautiful, perfect levels. I can't believe it. Why? De game developers, please fix this. Blazes crash the game. Why? Why do they do that? That's BS right there. That's a, just a bunch of bull malarkey. Really? Uh, uh. Uh. No, I don't want to see any of you guys. You die. All of you. Yes, even you too, Billy. Billy's. Also, this thing, I really do not need any more blaze rods. To be honest, I'm just going to use them as furnace fuel from now on. From now on. So, yeah. You guys suck. Let's see, what do we have in here? Actually, we have ladders, which isn't bad. Alright, you know what? I'm going to just... Screw it. Sticks. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but... Wait, hold on, what? No. You know what, I'm gonna go, let's just, let's end this on a good note, please. And, I don't have any lapis lazuli. However, silk touch, sharpness. You guys suck. You guys really do suck, right there. Well, I guess hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't, if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.